ain't gonna, thank you, thank y'all, thank y'all. I ain't gonna take up no more time. I'm just gonna bring up Andre the poet, y'all. Make some noise, y'all. Make some noise. Not this country. God bless you. Give yourself a hand real quick. Give yourself a hand. Sponsored by Red Bull. Look, y'all. Quick little story. I was cutting my little boy's hair. He's six. Just lost his front teeth. And he said, uh, just feeling himself. He asked me to put a couple parts in his head. I put a couple parts in there. And he said, Daddy, uh, I got on this Tennessee State shirt. Is that your favorite team? I was like, yeah. Oprah Winfrey went to school there. Then he looked up at me crazy, and I was like, Oprah Winfrey, don't you know her? He said, you never introduced me to her. And so I said, dude, you know, I went and got an Oprah magazine. He said, well, do you have her number? It says, y'all, we should never, ever, the moral of the story, assume or take people for granted, irrespective of the age. So I want to give a big round of applause, not taking this brother for granted, hype man rig, and not just country. Don't never take anybody for granted. My son called me and asked for some tips on how to deal with a woman. And God kind of brought this poem to me, and it's called, Thank You. Thank You. It's something about the way she said, thank you. After I opened her car door, she got in, put her purse on the floor, and gently folded her hands. She had this inconspicuous grin while sitting next to me. The sun was setting, but it seemed like intimacy resting next to ecstasy. We were listening to Joe Johnson's The After Party CD, and he has this smooth jazz rendition of Fantasia's Free Yourself. And y'all, for the first time in a long time, I could tell that both of us felt appreciated. I pulled up to valet parking and even the attendant noticed my date's beauty. He said, you're a very lucky gentleman. I looked at her, then looked at him and said, brother, luck is an understatement because when I'm with this woman, I'm divinely blessed. She hit me on the arm and laughed and said, boy, you a mess. Our step sounded like a famous cadence. Her heels clicked, my square toes clacked. We sat at a restaurant with fine linen-covered tables. And not at all did I fall into that stale male monologue. I mean, we had dialogue to die for. Book sense seamlessly integrated with mother wit sense. I mean, we went from current events to the Cosby show. I said, yo. You remember when Theo came down the stairs in that cool brim? And Claire and Cliff and all the other kids were serenading their parents for their anniversary? Simultaneously, we shouted the part that Rudy sang, Baby! I said, Lady, I could do this for a lifetime. Your gaze amazes me. Before you know it, time evaporated. The ride home was oh so subtle. We laid our tired bodies on a sofa stitched in microfiber. And I awoke to a whisper of thank you so much. I looked out the corner of my eye and asked, why? She said, because when I put my head on your shoulder, you didn't even hesitate to hold me. And not one time during the evening did you ever try to disrobe me. And I simply wanted to say, Thank you. Thank you. Not going to be before the people long. Um, I believe chivalry is alive and well. Particularly, I guess, the dichotomy. In Generation X, we get accused of being aloof. But the Bible also says that 
the last shall be first and the first shall be last. The stone that the builder rejected will become the chief cornerstone. So we have this generation of folk who have been marginalized who actually really have a heart to open up a woman's door to say, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, thank you, please, appreciate you. And so this last little piece is entitled The Type of Woman. The Type of Woman. You're the type of woman who makes me analyze my inhibitions. The type of sister who makes me find time to listen. And the irony is that the same letters in the word silent are the exact same letters in the word listen. But don't misconstrue my silence as the passive type. I'm just going to be incredibly silent so I can be incredibly obedient to everything that God tells us. That's why I ain't got time for jaw jacking with the fellas. I'm just so grateful and thankful. I want to massage your ankles until your calf muscles get jealous. Calf muscles get jealous. I'm making it my business to extract all the flack caused by your stilettos and flats. And I'm making it my responsibility to use my palms and forearms on the nerve endings of your lower back. Because you're the type of woman who needs to walk into work with an upright and Christ-like posture. The type of spirit that repels the fiery darts of the imposter. And those fiery darts are oh so subtle. Like when grown women be in the break room chit-chatting about the cool dude's cologne, you look at them like they're hilarious because you know that you got all of that at home. That's why I pray God carry us until we return to clay and they bury us. Matter of fact, the day that Bishop marry us, I'm going to treat your body like Sam's Club on a Saturday morning. Real life taste testing in various areas. Because you're the type of woman who makes me take it all to the altar and leave it all there. And I thank God for you being that type of woman. I'm Dre the Poet, y'all. Very, very, very good. Give it up one more time, y'all. Writing, doing poetry probably for, uh, I don't want to date myself, but since I was 12, so it's a lot of years. Word. So, uh, now, does your kid inspiration, I heard you talking about your kid, you got any poems that you do about him or any song, anyone that? Oh, uh, well, I don't know if it's so much poems, but just God teaches me through them in real life. Right. I mean, when I said don't take things for granted, time literally flies. I mean, there's this African proverb in Baptist Hospital that reads, don't forget the older generation because they've come a long way. Don't forget the younger generation because they got a long way to go. But don't forget them folk in the middle because they doing all the work. Five years later, we had Opry Mills. I'm trying to get him some shoes that lace up, trying to teach him how to tie his shoes. But we didn't see any that we liked. And I looked down and said, look, little Dre, I got on some Velcro shoes too. And he looked up at me and didn't bat an eye and said, Daddy, you can't tie either? <laughs> so, <laughs> So time flies, and God writes through so many different, so many different vehicles. It's, it's not even funny. Well, well, man, tell the people where they can find out, you know, how to get in touch with you and hear more about you. Uh, more information, uh, you can go to myspace.com forward slash or backslash or slash. I don't know which is the technical. Term. I'd like to say forward slash. Dre the poet, and it's D R E T H E P O E T. There it is. Give it up one more time for Andre the poet, y'all. Thank y'all. Thanks, Kalia. Thank God bless. Yeah. Yeah. I like that guy. We've had him, you know, before on a season. You know, that he comes through really, really cool. I'm glad. Y'all, y'all feeling that? Yeah. See, poetry and music, that's what we try to mix, you know. We're gonna
get to rocking in a little bit, but before we 